York's number one news. Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Charges filed tonight against two people in connection with a fatal daycare tragedy. One child dead. More were sickened in what officials believe was a drug operation too close to kids. And get ready for gridlock. President Biden about to depart the White House, heading to New York City for the U.N. General Assembly. Good evening, everyone. I'm Sandra Bookman. Joe has the night off. We're going to have more on President Biden's trip to New York in just a moment, but we're going to begin with new developments in that tragedy in the Bronx. A one-year-old boy died after he and several other children were exposed to illegal drugs. Tonight, two people are under arrest and waiting to face a judge. Eyewitness News reporter Lucy Yang reports from outside the courthouse in the Bronx. We're outside the Bronx Criminal Courthouse where there's a twist in this arraignment. I'm told Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, that's an easy forecast. A lot of sunshine each day, low humidity. And then right as fall arrives on Saturday, rainfall returns. And that could even linger into Sunday. All right. Don't want to hear that. No. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. That's the news from us for now. Thanks for joining us. Our Channel 7 special, Finding Inspiration Kids in the Arts, is coming up next. And Eyewitness News will continue right after that at 6 o'clock. Jeff and I will see you then.